Good morning, everyone. Bob Ravenscroft for our September 1st, uh, 2020 uh, media briefing. Um, we'll start with our COVID information. Well, we'll start with our midnight census. We had 476 patients in here at midnight, so a pretty full house. Um, as it relates to COVID, we have now tested 21,054 people, and that has resulted in 2,344 positive results. We currently have 121 uh, pending. 79 of those are from our urgent care. Um, I was just actually out at LifePoint earlier this morning, and and um, you know we aren't hitting our peak numbers that we used to, but I think they had you know roughly 70 people scheduled today, and it's sobering to see people still lined up out there. Um, Let's see. Number of COVID-19 patients in the hospital. Uh, we have 12 of those. Six are from Lancaster County and obviously six from outside. We have one additional Lancaster County resident that is hospitalized and, and pending. their result is pending. And of that, um, we have two patients on ventilators and one of them is from Lancaster County and one of them is from out. Um, we had an unrelated question to COVID that came in in advance, and it was um, referencing the um, city council uh, hearing last night where some Bryan folks uh, presented on uh, the planning and zoning of the South uh, 40th and Rokeby area where um, our intentions are to establish a third Bryan campus pending all of that going through. And the question was, um, in some remarks from the Bryan team, it, it said the Cancer Center would be the first comprehensive center in Nebraska. And, and the question is wondering, how will this differ from Buffett, which is a founding member of the National Comprehensive Cancer Network? So I'm going to try to clarify um, what was intended to be said last night and um, bring some some clarity to this question. So basically we're kind of dealing with some alphabet soup. What we were hoping to do there is articulate referral relationships between Brian and um, as you're looking at notes and as you're looking at slides and you have plexiglass, frankly it just uh, in the alphabet soup something got kind of lost in that. So here I'm going to walk through it. There are, there are multiple organizations that kind of uh, accredit and in organized cancer care. Um, what we were referencing last night is there are there are National Cancer Institute Comprehensive Cancer Centers. There are National Cancer Institute Cancer Centers, kind of the second level down. There are academic cancer centers and then there are comprehensive community cancer centers. Below that you have integrated networks and community cancer centers. So a lot of different things and they all have acronyms and they are different than what the question referenced of the National Comprehensive Cancer Network, which is NCCN. So an NCI Comprehensive Cancer Center, and I think that's what was stated last night, I'd have to go back and look. Um, the closest one is in, in Iowa City um, and most of our referrals from uh, Lincoln for Lincoln cancer patients um, will either go to Mayo Cleveland Clinic MD Anderson, their common referral locations if a NCI comprehensive cancer center is needed. And there's about 50 of those in the country. Then NCI cancer centers, which Buffett is, there's about 19 or 20 or so of those in the country. And we have referral relationships with them. So when people need an elevated level of care um, outside of Brian or a second opinion, they'll often go to one of these NCI designated centers if it's comprehensive or if it's just a cancer center. Um, and so forth. Oftentimes those patients, not often, most typically they'll come back to their home location for cancer uh, treatment and so forth. So what the clarifying part is, is Brian will be a comprehensive community cancer center and it will be the only one in the state where you have a central location for multidisciplinary care. We do not intend to become an NCI a cancer center or an NCI comprehensive cancer center. Those are reserved for academic uh, institutions with, with uh, research capabilities and, and expanded subspecialties. Um, so if you go down a little bit further, what an integrated network, uh, that would be comparable to the CHI and Lincoln. And then if you kind of go down to that sixth level, you have um, community cancer centers that you'd find in Grand Island, uh, North Platte, Platte, Fremont, Scotts Bluff, et cetera. Just uh, to reiterate, the vast uh, majority of cancer treatment protocols for common cancers 
are identical regardless of where you receive care. And um, then CCN that was referenced in the question is different altogether than what was being referenced last night. Um, the reason Brian's doing this um, is again with those cancer treatments being pretty identical for um, common cancers, it is for, you know, optimizing travel for very ill patients, the personalization of care, minimize transportation cost, and ease of access. You know, there are about 70,000 plus Nebraskans that um, deal with cancer every year. About 20,000 of them are in our service area, and about 10,000 of those are treated by one of the oncology practices or Bryan and St. E's in that service area. So uh, with the patient in mind, our goal is to make it much more convenient and very personalized for the appropriate level of care, which is very high care at a comprehensive community cancer center like we'll be. So again, tons of alphabet soup. I want to re uh, review that one more time just so the, the person who asked the question is clear. NCI, or National Cancer Institute, Comprehensive Cancer Centers, highest designation, there's about 50. NCI Cancer Centers, about 19 or 20 of them in the country, is what Buffett is and is in Nebraska. And then you go down to a comprehensive community cancer center, and that's what Brian will be, uh, or is already, and we will just be co-locating into one location. So again, uh, with all of those acronyms and so forth, I know it's clear as mud, but hopefully that helps bring clarity to um, what was stated last night in the question that was asked.